Hi beautiful friends, this is Cole Chance here with Yoga TX. Um, coming right back from Asia, stateside, and excited to share some more videos with you all. So today we're going to do just kind of a total body stretch to get everything loosened up. So we'll work on um, neck, back, side body, hamstrings and quads of course, but let's go ahead and get started. So go ahead and find your seat. If you would like to sit on a pillow or something to raise your hips up over your knees, sometimes that can relieve some stress if you're having any issues in your knees. But go ahead and just come to seated and take a big inhale. And sigh it out. Let's take one more inhale. So next inhale, let's raise our hands up over our head. Let's look up. Try to grow a little bit taller. One more inhale. And exhale, bring your arms down. And just start to walk forward. While you're doing this, make sure to keep your hips on the ground. So at the same time you're walking your fingers forward, you can push the floor away. And push your hips back down. Big inhale. And exhale, see so if you can come a little bit lower. Let's walk our hands over to the right. So here you want to keep your left hip on the floor. So again, you're pushing away at the same time you're falling forward. You can also start to pick your left arm up a little bit and look underneath if you'd like more of a side body stretch. So you can find your degree of where you want to be today. One more inhale. Exhale. And go ahead and slither on to the other side. So reaching out to the left and also pushing back to keep your right sit bone connected. So find where your stretch is today. If you'd like to lift that top arm, you can do that or you can stay here. Inhale. And sink a little bit lower. Walk back to center and then push yourself back up here. Inhale again, look up, reach up and drop your left arm and we'll keep our right arm and we'll bring it up and over. So we'll connect our right hand to our left ear and just gently pull, pull your head down to your right shoulder here. You can take your left hand and you can open up a little more right here if this feels nice to you. You can also reach your arm out. You could walk your fingertips out. You can also kind of move your arm around. So find that spot for you. It'll be different for everyone. But I'm pretty sure you can find it. Most people are pretty tight here. So once you find that juicy spot, take a di big deep breath into it and send some oxygen. shoulders back here we tend to want to come in when we feel the pain so make sure you're staying open one more Good. slowly release go ahead and take that top arm to your left knee here and we'll take a twist so top arm to the left knee your left hand behind your hips here We'll inhale, lengthen. So bring your spine up and out. Try to get a little bit taller. And then exhale, we'll twist our body. And then bring your head around. So you wanna bring your head around last, protect your neck. On your inhale, come out a little bit and extend up. And then twist. And one more time, like someone's pulling a string. 
and then twist again. And go ahead and unwind all of that. And we'll bring our left arm up. Bring it all the way over. Bring your left head to your shoulder. And then again, with your right hand, find what's working for you and where you can find that, that tight spot. Breathe big into it. This is really good for all you computer users out there. Those computers are trying to kill us. So really spend a lot of time focusing on kind of undoing the work and the stress you've created in your shoulders here. And come back up and take your left hand to your right knee. We'll inhale, lift up, and exhale, start to twist. And again, head around last. Inhale up, and exhale. our hands and clasp them behind our head. So we're gonna take like a cat cow, a seated cat cow. It has the same, the same variation, same action. So let's inhale, push your chest forward, roll your shoulder blades together on your back. So think about, you can even think about visualizing that. Your shoulder blades coming together onto your back, chin up, sternum going towards the ceiling here. Exhale, we're gonna round. So bring your elbows together, tuck your chin as you start to curl your back. This should light up the muscles going on either side of your spine here. So you can control the intensity. So if you need to come, not go as far, this can be intense. Inhale, separate your elbows, look up, chest out, start to arch your back. And again, exhale, bring it all back in. Inhale, expand. And exhale, come back down. One last time, inhale, open and expand. And then bring it back in, belly towards your spine. And good, come back to seated here. So we're gonna come into cat cow. You can just turn sideways on your mat. Let's go this way. All right, so we're gonna come onto our hands and knees. If you want to put a blanket underneath your knees for some more support, feel free to do that here. Blanket or a towel, anything will work. So let's take our Hands underneath our shoulders, our hips over our knees. Spread your finger pads wide and your knees about hip distance apart. Your toes will be on the ground here. So we're gonna take that same action, the cat cow, right here. So we're gonna inhale. Again, chest comes through, hips come up, belly to the ground. And look up. Shoulder blades coming onto the back. So same action, different position. Exhale, push the ground away. Pull your spine up towards the sky. Bring your belly in towards your spine so everything's moving up. Inhale, bring everything back down. You can go really slow here and feel that articulation of your spine. So you're not just pushing your belly down, you're also pulling your chest through. So there's two actions, down and out. Exhale, push away. Tuck your tailbone, everything up. And again, inhale, 
come through. And there's also an action here of feeling like your knees and your hands are pulling together. That'll create that feeling of your chest coming through. So you're really pushing together. One last time. Really exaggerate this action. It'll get, get you a really deep stretch. Let's take our right hand right underneath your gaze here. So we'll move it over to the middle. Take your left hand and we'll reach up. Get a spinal twist here. And then take it and we'll thread it all the way through. So you'll come down to your left shoulder here. You can take your top arm and walk it out. You can also walk it over to the left and look underneath your right arm. So whichever feels better to you. This will be a little bit more of a stretch here, or you can keep it just straight. So inhale. And exhale. Walk your top arm back. Push yourself up. We'll replace our hands here. So let's take left hand right underneath, right arm, inhale, open, and then exhale, twist, bring it all the way through. So we'll come down to our right shoulder here. You can take your top arm anywhere you'd like. You can also push away here if you'd like to twist a little deeper, or you can just walk it out. back and push all the way back up here. Let's go ahead and sit back child's pose. So let's take a wide knees child's pose. So separate your, your knees here and sit your hips back. We'll walk our arms out. And your hips may not come all the way down. You may be more like this and that's fine too. So whatever feels good to you. But walk your fingertips out so we're opening up underneath this, underneath your armpit. Come back into tabletop. We'll start to transition into downward dog and start to open up our legs here. So let's take an inhale and come back into this pose. On your exhale, you're gonna start to round like we were doing, but then we're gonna tuck our toes and push back into down dog. So just take it small, don't go full expression, and then we'll inhale, come back to our knees. Pull your chest through and look up. So we'll slowly go deeper into a down dog. Exhale, tuck your toes. Push away with your hands. Inhale, come forward. Pull your chest through, arch your back. And again, exhale. We're slowly articulating the spine, tucking the toes, and pushing back. And this time, let's stay. So let's check in with our hands. Spread your hands again very wide here, as wide as you can, like gecko hands, gecko palms. And push away. And you can have your knees bent here. Your heels do not have to be coming towards the ground. They want to be coming towards the ground, but they don't have to be touching the ground. That's the direction they're going, but they don't have to be there. And we're pushing away. We want our sit bones coming up towards the sky. Another inhale here, and exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. Start to shift your weight forward into your hands and slowly take little baby steps 
and we're gonna walk towards our hands. So very slowly, come up towards your hands, and then let's separate our feet. Let's go all the way to the corners of edges of your mat here. So drop your body, grab your elbows, and just rock side to side on your knees and start to open up your hamstrings. And you can sway side to side here too. Just start to slowly wake up in there. Depending on what time of day you're doing this, that could be tighter, tighter than others. But just be gentle with yourself. Go and come to center. And again, let's take that twist that we did on our knees. So take your right hand below. Let's bend our, bend uh, your right knee, bend your right knee, right hand here, and we'll twist open to the left. And you can take your, you can take your left hand to your sacrum, or you can bring it up. But we're just going to twist around. So your left leg straight, your left arm is straight, and we're bending into our right. Inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. And exhale, come back around. And let's replace. So left hand, left knee bends. Inhale, I'm twisting open to the right. And take one more. Inhale. And exhale, come back to center. Let's tiptoe our feet together here. Halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Plant your hands, step back with your right leg. We're gonna drop our knee as well. And again, you can keep the blanket right there if that's helpful. Untuck your toes. We're gonna take our left hand off the side of the mat. And you can just lean over to the left. You can bring your arm up. We're gonna open up this whole side body. I'm sure you can feel it already before you get, you don't have to go very far into this to feel it. But we're just gonna kind of feel like you're arching over. So we're just gonna arch over. And if you can bend this arm to go a little bit deeper, or you might just be right here today. This is an intense stretch. We don't get into the psoas a lot, so this might be new for, for some of you. Another big inhale. And go ahead and drop that hand. And take your right hand to the inside of your right foot. We're just gonna reverse it so we'll twist open to the left here. Inhale. And exhale. If you're feeling frisky today, you can grab back for your left foot for your right foot, sorry, and get into the quad stretch. Or you can just stay right here today and know that that's an option for maybe another day. Go ahead and frame your foot. Go ahead and replace your hands here. We're gonna push back, so we're gonna start straightening our front leg. Bring in your back leg. So we're gonna step it up about a foot, let's say. Let's go about a foot. Wherever you, can, wherever you need to go to drop your back heel. So our back heel will be at a little bit of an angle, our back foot, so it'll be coming towards the right of the room here. So we're gonna take pyramid pose. Our hips want to stay centered, they'll want to come out to the left. We wanna keep them centered here. So that means that you might need to bend your front knee, you might need to come in a little bit more, but those are the things that we want. We want the back heel on the ground, we want our hips going forward. So just find what, where you need to be to make that happen today. I'll stay about right here. So once you find where we're at, where you're at today, go ahead and inhale and lift. So every time we inhale, we want to lengthen. Kind of that feeling of like I mentioned earlier, like if you had a string attached to your head, that you're lengthening out on an inhale. And then an exhale, then we'll fall forward and come into the stretch. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, fall. Just helps you work with your breath, with that natural movement. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, 
exhale fold one more time inhale lengthen and exhale fold go ahead and plant your hands here we'll take a big step up to the top of the mat we place your feet next to each other inhale lengthen out of your hips and exhale fold and you can keep a bend in your knees here let's do that one more time inhale lengthen and exhale fold and let's step back with our left foot now come down onto your knee kind of settle in here so we'll take our right hand off the side of your mat so you're kind of coming up into your hips it really helps another thing that helps is if you are kind of feeling like you're scissoring your thighs together or you're compacting your hips it'll help keep that strength also engage your core so you're not quite as um, coming into your joints as harshly so to really feel that engagement in your core and your hips then bring your arm around so we're, we're centered here we're stabilized here and then we stretch from this from a centered spot so then go ahead and then you can start reaching over. If this is too much, you can also keep your hand right here and come this way. So just think about rainbowing over the side here. And this whole line should be lit up. Lengthen, try to grab for the corner of the room, and fold over. Actually, let's do that one more time, that feels good. Inhale, lengthen, and then exhale, come over a little bit more. We'll come back around, we'll place our left hand on the inside of your left foot. We'll twist open to the right. So bring your, your top hip, so your right hip here, you can kind of feel like you're bringing it back, like bringing that femur bone back with you as you twist. It'll keep your hips centered and square. It'll also give you a deeper stretch in your IT band, which we all need. So twist around. Think about bringing your right hip back. You can also grab your foot here if you would like and add in a quad stretch. This is a multitasking stretch. So wherever you are, Take one more inhale. And exhale, release. So we place your hands, we'll frame our foot, we'll straighten our front leg, and find where you are here today. So I'm gonna step in. They might be completely different on both sides. You want your back foot at a diagonal, your heel touching, and really step into the back edge of your, of your back foot so your arch doesn't fall down. You really want to connect that back edge. And then we'll center. We'll square our hips facing forward. So you kind of want to pull this right hip again. Pull it back into its socket. So whenever you feel centered and straight here, let's lengthen up and then exhale, fold. And just continue to move with your inhales. Come up a little bit and lengthen. And then fold on an exhale. A couple more times. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, fold. Go ahead and plant your hands. We're gonna step back into plank this time. So we'll step back into plank. Let's take an inhale here. You can stay in plank. You can bring your knees down. Either place is good right here. Whichever place you're at, you wanna roll your shoulder blades back and together on your back. Wherever you are, let's take one more inhale. Bring your core up towards your spine, so belly towards spine. Let's everyone go ahead and come to your knees here. Untuck your toes. We'll shift forward a little bit, so bring your chest a little bit forward through your hands. With your elbows in, 
We're gonna come all the way down slowly, all the way down to the ground. Good. So let's take our hands, clasp them behind our back. Or you can just bring them to your sacrum if that's easier. We're gonna bring our chest up and start to bring your fist towards your feet. So we're gonna be stretching away. Shoulder blades on your back. This is another good one for you computer workers. Really bring them on the back here. So inhale, a little bit higher. Every inhale, try to lift a little bit higher. One more, you can do it. Inhale. Leaving your chest up, bring your hands forward underneath your shoulder blades and then press up into Cobra. And then go ahead and fall down. You can rest your head on the left side here. So we've done some twists to help with flexibility of your spine and this is a really good exercise now to help with some strength. Because you want the flexibility but you also want the strength to keep a healthy back. So we'll do a little bit of both. They work together. So we're gonna do a different variation of this. Let's take your hands and place them behind your head. On an inhale, we'll lift up. So your whole back body will be lit up here. I'm sure you can feel it. As if you were wondering what was working here. Inhale, lift a little bit higher. Exhale. You can really push into the floor with your toes, with your tops of your feet. That'll help as well. Let's do one more inhale. Keep your chest up, bring your hands around underneath your shoulder blades. Inhale, come into Cobra. So you always want your arms bent in Cobra. You never wanna completely straighten. But roll your shoulder blades on your back. And go ahead and come down. Beautiful. Let's push all the way up into child's pose. Up and back. And stretch your arms out here. back we'll do just a couple leg stretches a couple more leg stretches here so let's take our feet straight out to Pashimoda here we're gonna lift up and out like we did at the very beginning pull your belly in and start to shift forward and we're looking for length here so you want to be coming towards your feet not necessarily towards your knees so keep your back straight come forward if you want to bend your knees, you can also put a, um, a rolled up towel, blanket, anything right here. We really want to focus on keeping your back straight and bend over. Inhale. This is a really good counter pose to the back bend we just did. One more inhale. And exhale, fold. Just come back up into seated where we began. And we'll take one more twist just to get everything, everything out here. So let's do the same twist that we did at the beginning. Let's take our right hand to our left. Inhale up and out. Exhale. Twist. Inhale, stretch up and out. side. So left hand on the right knee, inhale. And exhale, twist it out. Inhale. And exhale. Come back 
back to center. All right, thank you all for practicing with me today. This is just a good, quick routine to kind of wake up everything or maybe relax everything at the end of the night. But thank you all for practicing with me and I will see you next time. Again, cold chance at Yoga TX. Thank you, yogis. Inhale, come forward. Chin up. Exhale, push back, bring your chin in. You should feel really flowy. You want to be matching your breath with the movement, so it should kind of like you're riding a wave. <laughs>